right, fellas. Good to see you all. Uh, appreciate you getting on. I will, uh, you know, we've been at it for for five days in pads, so we're we're really a bunch of newbies right now together. But uh, I'd be glad to try to try to help you give some insight um, into where we are. We're, we're like I said, it's it's in the early stages. So, but I'll take any questions I can help you with. What's up, with Chris Eisman, Asbury Park Press. Hey, Greg, how are you? Doing well, Chris. How are you? Well, thank you. Um, I guess just kind of going off that, I mean, generally speaking, with all the protocols that are in place now, um, how do you think that they've been going and, and how have the, uh, the players been adjusting to it, you know, to kind of their, their new normal, I guess? You know, I think the guys have done a good job. It is definitely an adjustment, uh, and it takes all of us holding each other accountable. It's easy to forget. Forget to put your mask on. Uh, forget to do a lot of things uh, when you're busy and you're thinking about other things. But I think the guys have gotten into a pretty good routine of uh, of what we do, and also they they feel comfortable, uh, you know, just helping each other out, correcting each other, including you know anybody, players, coaches, helping each other out. So that's going to be key um, because it only takes one, as as we've seen, and then you know it, it gets spread. So we really. We really, really have to stay on top of it, be diligent. And the reality is, even if you do that, you can you can still get bit. So uh, it's it's definitely uh, a big challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Tom Canavan. Hey, Greg. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Tom? Good. Um, how many players have you gotten back? I mean, do you have? Everybody you expected back. I mean, it's three weeks away, and I don't think we've seen a roster. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a roster. Here's my plan. Uh, we'll come out this time Monday next week with a roster, and then the following Monday with a depth chart. So um, again, I'm working through some things with the roster. Uh, and, you know, there's a there's a lot of moving parts uh, always with the football team, but then throw COVID in there and training camp while you're in school, um, you know, and, and then a new staff. There's a lot of variables that all go there. So I will I will make sure you have it on Monday. And then, uh, like I said, depth chart the following Monday. Okay, just for a quick follow then on, you mentioned masks before. Are you going to wear a mask on the sideline every game? I am. We got a Bobby Darren. Sorry, Bobby. Oh, can you hear me? I yeah. can, uh, Bobby. Okay, okay, good. I was sorry, I'm on my phone doing this. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the transfers. Uh, did you get word on all the guys um, who have come in uh, regarding whether they can play or not this season? We are actually still waiting on a couple, and here's the reason why. We would have been submitting those um, – Throughout the summer and in August, we're ready to send a few more of the few last ones in. And then when the season got canceled, there was no need because then they would have had, you know, their year in residency and you wouldn't have to have a, a, um, a waiver. So once it appeared that we were going to play again, we immediately uh, restarted the final couple waivers. So we, we will, I'm confident we'll know on everyone before we, you know, my hope is before we get into, uh, you know, game plan or our first game. So uh, right now it's camp mode as much as it can be camp mode. I mean, you know, we're in school and tutoring and all those things. And um, But I think we'll have it in time to be able to make personnel decisions that are necessary, how we're going to practice for preparing for our opening game. James Crash. Greg, I guess how the quarterbacks looked so far, um, and I guess to pick off the roster question, did Johnny Langan and Peyton Powell, were they quarterbacks or have they been moved to other positions? We saw in, on social media that Johnny's number has changed. Um, so the quarterbacks as a whole, you know, we've been getting all of them work, right? So there's a lot of them, and it's hard to do. Um, we will start to tighten the – the repetitions and kind of focus them more as we move forward starting on uh, this week. So um, 
when I'm done with with this uh, with you guys, we have a, a meeting as a staff. The players are off today, so we have a meeting uh, this afternoon, which will which will be heavily based on personnel decisions moving forward. So we had a, you know we had the all the practices in spider pads, and then we've had five in full pads, which is a different game when you start playing with full pads. So we'll make some some initial uh, directional decisions, right? Like we're going to go in this direction, a few more reps for this guy, a few more reps for that guy, maybe decrease a few here and there, because you do have to start to, it's not training camp. And that's the big thing that it's a big difference is you don't have them all day. You don't have them, you know, walkthroughs and then meetings and practice then meet again. And so you really have a condensed version in your preparation. So I think usually you would let this meeting happen a week later but we have to do it now just because we don't have as much time and 19 days away from our first game. So um, that's the reason for doing it. As far as the quarterbacks go, um, I can tell you that Johnny changed his number only because he wanted to change his number. It wasn't, it wasn't due to anything else. As far as who's, who's at what position, um, I'm going to hold off until we release the roster and the, and the, uh, and the uh, depth chart. But I can tell you that, you know, those guys are really working hard, that whole group of quarterbacks uh, trying to understand Coach Gleason's system, which they've been doing since we got here. Um, but now you have to execute it with people trying to come after you. And it's a little different than uh, executing it in, uh, in a, you know, a desk chair over a WebEx. So we've had our steps, right? We've been the WebEx team, and then we were the uh, the notepad team, then we were the spider team, and then finally Wednesday we started to become the real football team. So it's been a work in progress. Um, but um, guys are working incredibly hard. And that's, as a coach, that's really what you, that's really all you can ask for, right? The guys are giving incredible effort. And I don't mean just in the, you know, on the field. They've been training, you know, because we have to continue to train in the weight room. They've been doing a great job in the meeting room. Um, and certainly that, you know, our biggest challenge, COVID-19, they've been doing a really good job at, and battling that, you know, and I've told our team that's our number one opponent right now. It's not anybody on our schedule. You, if you get on that plane and you don't have your best players, well, it's going to be tough, right? So we really, really are working hard to to stay healthy um, and to stay, you know, stay clean of the virus. But it's a it's a huge challenge. Go to Steve, buddy. Hey, Greg, how you doing? No, well, how are you, Steve? Good. Good. So it, it, it strikes me that largely because of things outside of your control, you, you, you're kind of a bit of an international team of mystery here. <laughs> how much of that can, how much of that can help you? How much of that is actual subterfuge by you? I mean, it, is it is there some advantage to the fact that you know a lot of us have no idea what what you look like? Um, if there is any, I don't think it's huge, right? And it's not, you know. I'm not trying to be uh, evasive in any way. I, I think here, here's the thing. There are, there are a couple little things that, you know, could help us maybe, right? Uh, with our opponent not knowing who to study or what to study. Um, but, you know, we have the same thing with our opener, you know? What, what's the offense going to be? What's the defense going to be? What are their special teams, you know? So we're going to have to, you know, uh, you have to really more than ever be able to, to adjust on the fly. And um, if a couple couple little things can help, why not use it in that first game? But at the end of the day, it's that's going to be very little. It's going to be who can block and tackle and who can throw and catch. It's always been that, and it always will be that. You got a Richie Schneider. Hey, coach, how's everything going? It's going, it's going well. How about you, Richie? I can't complain. So the Big Ten put in that 21-day rule if you test positive for COVID. How much of that is a concern for you and your team? Well, it's definitely a concern um, because, you know, you do the math. And people say, well, then you missed three weeks. Well, you probably missed four weeks, mm -hmm. depending where that day you tested positive falls because, you know, you don't just show up to a game and play. It, it takes preparation. And uh, so in an eight-plus-one schedule, if, if you get it, you're probably missing half the season. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's, that's a big chunk. So we're really, again, uh, and I've said this to the team literally every day, our number, one, our number one enemy, our number one opponent 
is the virus. We have to stay healthy just so we can have an opportunity to go play at full force and see if, if we're better than who we're playing. Um, but as you know, it's that is an ongoing challenge for, for all of us. So but th that definitely adds a very substantial variable to the equation that, that we're accustomed to. Appreciate it, Coach. Welcome. Chief Sergeant. Hey, Greg. What's up, Sarge? Um, two, um, two part. Uh, one, um, big picture, one on Brendan White, um, where he fits into the defensive equation. The big picture, um, it sounds like things are relatively okay, but you know, also weighing what's going on nationally, whether it's the outbreaks with the Tennessee Titans or the president coming down with the virus and everything that's going on in Washington. Are you confident that this season is going to go off without a, without a hitch at this point? There's a lot in there. That's that is a that's maybe like a three or four part question, right? And my memory at this stage may not be able to remember all the parts, but I'll try. Um, well, you know what's going on in the NFL. The NFL has already had had its issues. Uh, they suspended, uh, postponed games, and you know you, you you know what's going on in Washington. I'm assuming that you're not all, all, bubbled all the way, but um, you know is this going to happen? You know, are you going to be able to get through this season without a hitch? I did get the memo on, on what's going on in Washington. Yes, Keith, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm confident? I'm confident in our testing. I think that, um, you know, what we're doing, testing every day, and um, it's the best way to protect. So we know when we when we start our day here as a team uh, that, that everybody who's with us is clean. Um, and that's the best way you can, you know, from the very beginning, I be, I thought in my mind that's the only way I could do this and really be be safe. Um, and thank goodness this this uh, you know fast response test developed. So, but how do you know? Like you, again, you certainly with what you mentioned, um, no one's immune, right? I mean, everybody it hit, it hit the NFL, it hit the, it hit the president of the United States, so. We talk about it every day. It's that it's that big of a thing that we're constantly conversing as a team. The things we need to do, we've learned so much throughout our time together in, in dealing with the virus. So we, we communicate openly as a team. And with all that, you still you know you still see things. Hey, come on, get your mask up. You know, and it's not that anybody's trying to do that. It's just sometimes you forget. So. Um, but we're working very hard at that. Uh, as far as, but yeah, right now I am confident we're preparing 100% as if we're, we're going to be opening on the 24th. And uh, we're very excited about that, I'll tell you. Um, B. White's had a, had a good a good uh, practice time here. And, you know, I have, obviously I have plenty of history with him. So I have a, a head start on him. He's one of the few players that I have in-game history with on our team. So. Uh, but he, he's doing well. Um, really, the whole team is, is like I said, works really hard. I can't, I can't compliment enough how they've been able to do all this while they're doing a great job in the classroom with our tutoring. Uh, it's definitely put a burden on them, um, but one that they're all excited to, to do because they can't wait to go play. So... Uh, but I think our academic support people have done a great job being flexible and making sure that we can get all the all the guys where they need to be. So it's it's been a group effort for sure. We have time for one more. We'll go to Fooch. Coach, how you doing? Just uh, well, I know you were dealing with a lot, but what's your early impressions of your staff on the field, coach? You're coaching again with some new guys and some guys you've coached with in the past. Just how that's going. Yeah, I really, I love our staff. We, we, you know, the staff's a work in progress as well, right? So like you said, some of us have worked together. Some of us haven't. I've changed. So even if we've worked together, I'm not the same coach I was, and neither are they. So uh, definitely been a feeling out process. But they bring great energy. They bring great knowledge. Um, and I think they're really good role models and mentors for our players. So to me, that's what it's about. When you coach in college football, yes, you need to win games. Yes, you need to graduate your players, but as much as anything, uh, you know, are you giving them uh, someone that they can look up to as a mentor to help them navigate? And I think more than any time in, in my career, it's more important today than any other time in my career that they have men like that to, to associate with and to look up to. So 
I'm very pleased uh, with the job that they've done so far, and uh, just got to keep keep moving forward step by step. So, well, guys, I appreciate it, and and I know that we'll get that roster to you next week and the we'll depth chart the week after. So I look forward to seeing you uh, again on Monday. Take care. Thanks, guys.